Here are the three hacks that you can use today in order to scale up your social media advertising. Hey, it's Galindi here from Mr. Marketing and the author of Social Media Selling Secrets. And today, what I wanna show you right here is how you can go about diagnosing your advertising online if you're running ads with Facebook and Instagram, but you're not getting any results. Here are the three things that you need to do in order to get a better result, such as if you're looking to get more customers, make more sales with advertising online, such as running e-commerce ads, or if you are looking to get more leads, ultimately, if nothing is happening, you're just putting money into the likes of Facebook advertising and Instagram, and all you're getting back is zero comments, just a bunch of share and likes and comments, no real results such as sales and leads, then follow this strategy. So stop making Mark Zuckerberg more happier and start making yourself more richer. Okay, so here is the first, here's the first thing that you need to look for. So if you're getting no sales or leads, the very first thing you need to check is the engagement. What do we mean by engagement? Well, if you're running an advert as part of your campaign, people are seeing this advert, but nobody's clicking on it. Well, then you that means you're not getting engagements. So clicks is what you need to look out for. So check out your clicks, look at your ads and ch check to see, are you getting a lot of clicks? Because if people are not clicking on it, it means they're not interested, okay? So if they're not interested, the solution here is that you need to find a better creative creative for your ad. The first thing people see on advertising when they see it on their mobile phones or their desktop based on you, the advertiser, the first thing that captures their attention is the image or the, what we call the creative. So it's the image or the video. So whatever the video is or the, if you're selling products and you have the product picture of the product or a video of the product, if people are not clicking on your ad to go to your website or to go to what you want them to do or clicking the button to engage with you to get in a conversation, well then you need to change that picture. And ideally what you want to do is test three different creatives. So have a picture, have a different ad with a video and have a different ad with a blend of pictures and videos. So that's the first thing. So if you are getting clicks, well then that's not your issue. If you're still not getting results, people are going to your website because they're interested in your products or services, but they're not giving you their contactable details. If you're looking for your service business, looking for leads, or if they're not buying from you because you're selling directly online, well, but they are going to your website, well, then you need to look at the next thing, which is your conversion. So if you're getting no sales or no inquiries, if that's your goal as a service business or you're looking to sell products but you're not getting conversions, meaning them giving you what you want them to do, well, then you need to improve on your conversion. So if you're getting no conversions, it means you might have a landing page issue. So that means landing page. They normally call this landing page experience. So check out your landing page. Ensure that it's similar to your competitors. Ensure that first and foremost that you can actually go to your website and do the action that you want people to do. So if you're a service-based business, you're looking for contactable details so you can call the client or call the potential new customer, well then in order for you to have their contactable details, you need to have a form on your website. So ensure you have a form that's easy to input data in and it works. It tells people what they have done has worked at the end. So they've given their phone number, email, their inquiry, and they click send, and then it sends them details to let them know what worked has worked. Therefore, then you will see an increase of, of conversions. So that's how you solve that. If you're e-commerce, you're looking to get people to buy, well, then you need to make sure your purchasing page has the elements that it, it needs to have in order for people to buy. Those three elements you should have on a landing page to get sales, number one, is you need to have a, a clearly defined offer. So what are you offering to people? Have a headline that tells exactly what it is that they're buying. The second thing you need to do is have social proof. What is social proof? Social proof is information that shows to new people, new buyers, new of your target market who are visiting your website, who are interested in buying from you, it shows them that others have also took action. So these could be testimonials, these could be written words, 
words, these could be video formatted testimonials, reviews. You need to have an element of social proof. So you see, the thing is people don't like to be the first people to do something. So your buyers don't want to be the first because they think what if there was an issue with what you're doing or you're, you're, what you're selling. So ensure that you have social proof. And the third thing that you need to have is a guarantee. Listen, while in business, I know no, nothing is guaranteed, but however, a guarantee essentially by Brad Sugars, Brad Sugars, a great mentor and a business owner, so very successful. He says that a guarantee essentially is your promise that you're going to eliminate from your customer that they have found from other agencies or other uh, product-based companies, whatever it is that your customer has had an issue with in the past, your guarantee essentially tells them, hey, we understand you, we know what it's like buying in, in this particular market, here's what we're going to do for you and ensure that you get that result, okay? So a guarantee is essential. So the three things you need to have for your landing page is number one, you need to have a clearly defined offer, you need to have social proof, and you need to have guarantee. The third thing, so if you do that, you should have a better, better conversions, okay? So your conversions should increase. Now, here's the thing, ensure your landing page, lastly, works meaning the website loads fast. It loads faster than three seconds if possible, no less than three seconds, at least three to five seconds. We live in a world where people take action quick. So if your website is slow, your landing page experience means it's going to be bad. People will leave and bounce faster. So to reduce your bounce rate, just ensure that your website loads fast and it works. People can click a simple button, enter their details, they get a result, or they can click a button to buy and therefore it works. They, they enter their card details and they buy. Simple as. Now, if you're getting conversions now, you're getting good conversions, but the cost is high, well, here is the final thing that you need to do to scale up. So if you're finding that you're getting conversions, but it's costing you more than what your, your, advertising, your, your, your product is, cost, is worth, well, then you're going to lose money, right? So if it, your conversions are costing you 30 euros, let's say $30, and your product is worth $30, 30 euros, well, guess what? You're gonna be making no money. In fact, you're gonna be a negative because you still have other costs associated with that. So the best way you can reduce the cost of advertising in any market is by going to people who are warm, people who have engaged with you, with your brand, okay? Who are these people or how does this look like online? These people, we call them our remarketing audiences, okay? So remarketing audiences. So audiences that have engaged with our store, people who have engaged with our website. So if you're selling a service, Go after people who have gone to your website but have not taken action to giving you their contactable details if you sell behind the scenes offline. If you're selling directly online as an e-commerce, well then advertise to people who have already engaged, has added to your cart, or have started checking out but they haven't ch checked out, or they've visited a website page of your, of, of your store. Why? Because these people, we call these people warm, audiences and that's where the money is so my name is galinda from mr marketing as i said i have a currently put out a book that's coming out and you can order this book right now it's called social media selling secrets this book is designed to help you the entrepreneur the business owner whether you're a coach consultant trainer or simply a small service business owner who's struggling right now to get more traffic and is sitting back hoping to get results from what they're doing right now, right? So the book, I've designed it to make it easy to share with you my last eight years experience holding, managing an agency, starting an agency from the last eight years, scaling it from zero, literally 90 euro to over 490,000 per year in annual revenue, okay? So if you are a business owner, a coach, consultant, trainer, who's struggling right now to getting results with social media advertising, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, Google, well then stop your ads right now. Stop your ads until you grab this free book. That's right, it's a free book. I'm giving it to you for free. Just help me back by handling the cover, the
the shipping and handling. The rest of the stuff is then free for you, okay? So grab that book, start to thrive in your business. Start, stop operating at, a, at an element of scarcity, okay? Start operating at an element where you know where you're going, you know why nothing is working, so you can figure out where to then scale up. So click somewhere on this video, it will take you to the landing page, grab the book, and I cannot wait to see the results that you get. It's been Galinda here from Miss Marketing. Make sure you click the video somewhere on this video and go ahead and grab this book.